for optimism. Fear and doubt is not a good thought process because this is a time for tremendous hope and joy and optimism and action. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. They are the heirs of yesterday's foolish fortune tellers, and I have them, and you have them, and we all have them. And they want to see us do badly, but we don't let that happen. The fact that the USA is leaving the Paris Accord seemed to outrage and worry everyone, and it should. But the fact that we are all about to fail the commitments you signed up for in the Paris Agreement doesn't seem to bother the people in power even the least. You say children shouldn't worry. You say, just leave this to us. We will fix this. We promise we won't let you down. Don't be so pessimistic. And then, nothing. Silence. Or something worse than silence. Empty words and promises which give the impression that sufficient action is being taken.